It's been 25 days since Birmingham last measured any rainfall and we're on track to tie a century old record. The last time that we did not measure any rainfall for four straight weeks was uh, back in 1924. This is the drought monitor. This map is issued every Thursday, so tomorrow we will get a new one and we do expect for uh, the shades or the areas of drought to be expanded. At this point, a lot of central Alabama, the northern half of the state, just in that level one out of five category, but we expect this to be a little bit worse tomorrow. Normally we average over three inches of rain for the month of October, though it's our driest month and we haven't measured anything at all. Hopefully you're still enjoying the beautiful blue skies though. It's it's great to take lunch outside 78 in Birmingham. A west wind today and we're warming up, adding a couple degrees each day this week, at least a degree. 85 in Fayette this afternoon, matching Tuscaloosa. A little warmer, Aliceville at 86. I think Birmingham's right around 84. The same story in Alabaster and down toward Clinton. 82 Pinson, 81 Coleman. Very warm though. These temperatures are 10 degrees above average. We've got warm weather through the rest of the week, really through the middle of the week. And by the weekend, we see a little bit of change, but we are nearing record highs. I think that we get pretty close. We may tie them, uh, but I don't think we surpass them. 85 the forecast high tomorrow. Record is 86. And then on Friday, we're looking at 86 for the afternoon high. The record is 88. It's very warm, very dry around here. We're all aware. We do look for some cooler air to slide south beginning tomorrow. And then again on Saturday, we kind of have a couple of fronts that are going to move south, but the colder air you can see is displaced to our north and east, but I do think we could see some influence from this by Sunday after the front passes. So we call this a wedge sometimes. It's an expanding area of high pressure that sits along the Appalachian Mountains and with an east breeze that could some of that could funnel into Alabama. I think East Alabama would likely see the biggest impact from that, but we are looking milder by the weekend. I wouldn't necessarily say that we are uh, much cooler, but it, it will uh, feel a little bit different. You see 70s by Sunday and into early next week. So we're warm through the next couple of days. Uh, forecast for Friday night looks great, though. I don't even think you need a light jacket. Some of you may, but 72 at kickoff, 69 at halftime. Uh, very perfect for football weather. And then Saturday looks great, too, for the Magic City Classic. The parade will be comfortable, 63. And then by kickoff, we're at 83. Plenty of sunshine. No rain in the seven day forecast, maybe a few spotty showers, uh, but hopefully by early November we see